Good morning, Chargers. I'm Medusa. And I'm Clown. Happy Halloween. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? What? <laughs> it's National Knock Knock Joke Day. Anyways, speaking of orange, did you know that pumpkins are literally orange? So true. But yesterday, the Chargers teamed up with the teachers to paint pumpkins and compete against each other on their pumpkin painting skills. In order to get Halloween spirits up, on Monday, October 30th, SGA held their annual pumpkin decorating contest in the atrium during lunch. Our chargers were split into teams with the teacher assigned to each, spending the entirety of lunch to decorate a pumpkin. They were able to do whatever they wanted and they definitely showed their creative sides throughout this process. Ranging from ghost to Barbie, there is definitely a variety of themes. Make sure to vote for your favorite pumpkin. If you wish to participate, remember to sign up next year. This has been Mia and Stella with WRSN. Have a spooktacular day. Thanks, Mia and Stella. Make sure to vote for your favorite pumpkin by scanning the QR code in the comments or on the slides. Hey, what kind of monster likes to dance? What? The boogeyman. <laughs> Oh my. But speaking of dance, Dance Marathon is passing out the Boo Fundraiser cookies today. Make sure to look out for your crumble cookie in six period. There are also many other haunting Halloween festivities happening today. Oh yeah, I saw a ton of people dressed up today. Those are sick. Aren't some of the clubs celebrating the spookiness during lunch? I don't know. Let's take a peek. That sounds like a terribly fun time. Before we go back to the cemetery, some of our Chargers are double celebrating today. Here are the Chargers who are celebrating their birthdays on this horror-filled day. We hope you have a scary good birthday, Chargers. And especially to our very own WRSN staff, Alexa. The class of 2026 has been working hard on their personal projects and they are finally finished. Sophomore Alexa Bush stood out and took this project as an opportunity to become a published author. She created a geometry book filled with tips and tricks and has already begun impacting her community. I wanted a review that me and others could use for future math classes or tests like the ACT. I had to make countless revisions and every time I would review it I would find more typos and I was very lucky to have my dad and Miss Kameho review my book because they found a lot of 
mistakes and they gave me a lot of recommendations that I could include in my new book. Alexa is very helpful to her classmates as she helps them out whenever they may need support. So last year I had classes with Alexa. Every single time I struggled, she always took that opportunity to help me, whether it was with homework or tests that I was unprepared for. When she published her book, I knew that in the same way she helped me, she could always help others. Her teacher was very supportive of her along the way. First of all, I was thrilled in August when Alexa told me that she had used her summer to work on geometry on this book. So she chose key concepts in geometry, not all of them, of course, uh, because it would be like a textbook and that was not the idea. The idea was to help with the key concepts in geometry uh, to help other students that may need some support. I am very glad about, for example, the constructions, inscribing a circle in a triangle or inscribing a triangle in a circle. She made this with technology, so this is amazing. And she also used her own constructions, handmade. So this is amazing. I am very proud of Alexa. Make sure to check out her book as it could potentially help you get that A on the test. Congratulations, Alexa. Anyways, that's it for today. This has been Jada and Gianna reporting for WRSN. <laughs> and don't forget to stay safe tonight if you plan on going out. Hold on. We have one more thing for you guys, though. Since people are dressing up today, let's have a throwback to Barbecue Dad and Soccer Mom Day. <laughs> Can you give us a fit check on what you got on today? So, <laughs> the jorts, jorts, Zara, thrifted, period, a little rag for my kitchen, no, and I got the fanny pack, the essentials, okay, period, you know. <laughs> angel. My name is Big E from H Town, honey. And you know, we don't play like that, so we got these pips soup. Because you know, I make the best pips in town. And, shoo, Lord, we got little white teeth. Long socks to keep the legs warm, because you know, I get old. Go out good all the time. The prongs keep everything safe. It was a cookout without no music. What's not working? This computer's not. What's your best soccer mom impression? Go get the ball, sweetie. <laughs> Crush, they are so sweetie. No mercy. Let's go, honey. Let's go. Oh my God. So we have Capri Suns. We have oranges. Uh, we, we got some gummies. We got some rice cheese. Which snacks do you guys want? Which snacks do you guys want? Who'd you bet? Apron. Beautiful apron. Look at the real sergeant apron. <laughs> Yes. Stretching it out. <laughs> um, you know, my my jeans. Thank you. My thrifted jeans from like some random. Yeah, look at random Walmart. Jeans, man. I got my Coleman self-made uh, apron from Gucci actually. Got some cute little panty pants here. Got some good old Diddy Converse. And oh, I have to talk. <laughs>